Welcome to our tutorial on text-based mouse events. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a button that will change colors when you move your mouse over it and will change colors back when you move your mouse away from it. On the screen we have the, the result of the code, uh, which is the web page running in a browser. And you notice that if we hover over the button, it will change colors. Uh, and if we move the mouse away from the text, it will change colors back. So let's take a look at how this works. We'll just go ahead and open up the code in Notepad. And you'll notice that we use CSS elements and JavaScript elements, as well as HTML to make this happen. In our CSS, we define a class called normal button. Now the purpose of this class is to uh, define the looks of the button under normal circumstances before you hover over it or click it. And you'll notice that we define the, what possible fonts you can use, uh, the size of the fonts, uh, what color those fonts are, uh, the background color, the border style, of the button and the color of the of the but button's border. Uh, next on the JavaScript section we have two functions. The first one is the change button color function. Now what that does is that will change the color just of the button. Uh, in this case the background color as well as the color of the text. The second function is a navigation function that we we're putting here to give the button something to do once it's clicked. Uh, in this case, it's going to MacNeilData.com. And of course, you can change that to whatever you wish. Finally, uh, in the body, we have some span tags. Uh, there's the opening one and the closing one. And in between those tags, we have the text of the button, which in this case is go to MacNeil Data. And again, you could change that to whatever you like. You'll notice that we reference a class called normal button that corresponds to our CSS, which again defines the look of the, the whole button. Next, we have the events that we're going to fire off. Uh, the first event, which is on mouse over, uh, fires when we hover the mouse over the button. Now what it's going to do is it's going to tell the browser to execute this change button color function, which is what we defined up here in our JavaScript. In this case, it's going to change the, the text to blue, and it's going to change the background to white. Now when we hover away from the button, we will fire off the on mouse out event. Again, the same function gets fired off, except we change it back to a black text, black text with a silver background. Finally, we have an on mouse down event that we fire off. And again, that just fires off the go to main site function which again we defined in our JavaScript up here. And that heads over to our website, www.macneildata.com. At our website, uh, we do have the source code for this, as well as a tutorial document that explains this in much greater detail. Uh, we look forward to seeing you there, and thank you for your time.